The little things we do can make a big difference in our appearance. So here with more on how our diet can affect our hair is wellness expert Barr. How can I help you? Or how can I help you? It's Friday, sorry, it's been a long week. How are you today? <laughs> Good, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing, I think that brownie kind of got in my head a little bit. So how does diet play a role in healthy hair? Yes, uh, you know, what you eat really does have an impact on how your hair looks and feels. So it's really important to be cognizant of eating nutrient dense superfoods as often as you can. So I always recommend foods like um, omega-3, foods that have omega-3s and fatty acids, Thankfully, you can find those ingredients and nutrients in foods like salmon and avocado. I love superfoods like nuts and seeds and sweet potato because they're filled with vitamins. And of course, eggs. Don't forget about eggs. They contain biotin and biotin produces keratin and keratin is what is going to give you long, luscious, shiny hair. It's going to prevent hair from falling out. Um, so it's, as you can see, there's really a direct impact with what you eat and how your hair looks. So it sounds like we want to try to have a very well-rounded diet and making sure that we're getting all those things in there. Is there anything else we should look out for in terms of ingredients we should be using in our food that's going to give us that healthy glow? Of course. Obviously, you want to stay hydrated because that helps your hair stay hydrated just like it helps your skin stay hydrated. But, you know, there's two pieces to this equation. If you want healthy hair, you have to eat the right foods, but you also have to be using the proper products. And that's why I really love this new collection from Hair Food. So this is a collection of shampoos and conditioners and hair masks, etc., that are all inspired by really clean, simple ingredients um, and superfoods that you would actually find in your very own kitchen. And it's actually can be tailored to any sort of uh, hair type. So if you have hair that needs to be color protected, there's shampoo and conditioner and product for that. If you have hair that um, is curly and you want to define those curls, there's shampoo, conditioner, and product for curls. If you need to purify your hair, there's also product for that. So definitely go to um, hairfood.com to check out the entire collection. And I must say, there are no parabens, no sulfates, and absolutely no dyes in these products. So as with a lot of different hair products out there, does this vary by hair type and texture? Um, yes. So I didn't hear the first part, but yes, as I, as I had mentioned, if you have like curly texture, you, there's a shampoo and conditioner in this collection just for you. If you have oily hair, you might need the purifying, um, part of the collection. So definitely be sure that you're tailoring, um, the products that you use to your specific hair needs. So just as important as what you are putting in your hair is what you're not putting in your hair. So are there products that people should stay away from? Yes, you know, you never want to use, um, you never want to like overload on too many products because that can really add to buildup and then your hair and your scalp doesn't feel so good. So really just use only the products that you need that are good for your hair. And also I always suggest that if you're going to be using styling products that are heated, like curling irons or blow dryers or straighteners, always try to use a heat resistant spray because beforehand that will protect your hair from getting overly dry and thankfully like the summer months are coming up if you can get away with air drying your hair every couple of days a week and like laying off of the heat that would come from like a blow dryer that's also going to promote very healthy strong hair so you mentioned the summer months there are a lot of things that can impact our hair care is there anything else we should know as the temperatures get a little warmer in terms of how we should care for our hair Absolutely. I think a lot of us are pretty good about using sunscreen um, in the summer months, especially, but you might forget that the UV rays can also damage your hair. So wear a hat, a bandana, and always make sure to rinse off after you swim. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And if we want a little bit more information, we want to learn about these products a little more, where can we go? Definitely go to hairfood.com and you can purchase these products at Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Fantastic. All right. Well, really good information. We appreciate you coming on the show today and make sure you stay with us because we've got Western State Bank here to talk about their open house and their newer location to help you get the most out of your financing.